Tennessee Valley, 656 in the Rocket City. And on the line, we have Pastor Mark Barrows. How you doing, Pastor? Well, good morning, Faithful. It's a terrific Tuesday, a good-looking Tuesday morning. Great day to be alive in the Lord, connecting with God and His Word. <laughs> well, you know, uh, we, we actually didn't didn't barbecue yesterday. We kind of took a different a different approach, but did still enjoy the day. And how about you? Oh yeah, I had a wonderful time with my family and friends, and I'm full of food. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. That's good. Well, sounds like you had a great time, some rest, relaxation, and just uh, had a good time all the way around. indeed delighted to be sharing the word of the living God just as the Lord Jesus himself spoke in St. John chapter 6 verse 63 he said the words that I speak unto you they are spirit and they are life and so we take the words of God the words of scripture bring them to you every single day that we together might partake of the spirit and life of God. You know what? You, the, the old adage says, you are what you eat. And uh, we, we, we understand what that means, but it's often we think of that in terms of just our natural you know, life and health and well-being. But uh, it is also true of our souls and of our spirit. What do you mean by that? What we focus on, think about, give our attention to, do, to feeds what our soul begins to look like in the environment of our soul, our mind, will, emotions, intellect, imaginations, or shape. I mean, you, you ever watch something and then, then dreamt about it that night? You know, uh, or uh, and so, you know, whatever we are partaking of and feeding upon is a substance that feeds us. And so the same way spiritually, uh, when we look at and we renew our minds and store up the word of God on the inside of us, what it does is it enlarges us and brings us the capacity to think like God and to receive from God all the things that he has for us. That's what simply Romans chapter 10 and verse 17 is all about. Faith comes by hearing and hearing comes by the word of God. Now that's good hearing and uh, that's faith. Now, just like that, anxiety, doubt, fear, condemnation, worry, lust and fretting and all of the things that pull us down also come by what we feed upon. So we need to feed upon the right things. And that's about being fully supplied, friend. That's why God has given us his word. And uh, he's given of his word to feed on his word. You know, literally in Psalms 37, it talks about dwelling in the land and feeding on the faithfulness of God. How do you feed on the faithfulness of, on faithfulness? Well, you ponder it. You consider it, you think about it, you reflect upon it, you look at the faithfulness of God in your life, you look at the faithfulness of God uh, in scripture, you, you, you look at the faithfulness of God and what he has said, you look at the faithfulness of God and what he, is, what he does, and you feed upon that. What happens when you feed on the faithfulness of God? Faith comes. And your faith is enlarged to be focused and attentive and to fight the good fight of faith. You know, sometimes we think of faith being something that is formed apart from God, but it is not. Faith comes from God and it comes from feeding upon God, his faithfulness and his word, allowing it to be stored up in our hearts. So that it begins to paint a, a picture called an imagination in our mind that gives us hope that we can seize upon and we begin to think 
you know, you know what? I'm expecting a good day. I'm expecting good things. I'm expecting that I'm coming out of this. I'm going forward. I'm expecting the plans and purposes of God to be revealed in every aspect of my life, my home, my relationships, my finances, my health, in every respect, friend. God wants you to enjoy a fully supplied life and that connection is to him and his word, feeding and supplying you with the basis to uh, believe and to have hope in that regard. You know, we're to set our expectation upon God. We're literally told in Colossians chapter three to set our affections on things above. Why would he tell us that? Because that's where good things come from, right? We know every good and perfect gift comes from the Father of lights, from whom there's no variableness, neither shadow turning. So when we're feeding on the faithfulness of God. We'll see his faithfulness in our own lives. And not only that, friend, we'll share his faithfulness with others so they too can enjoy his faithfulness together with us. This has been an outreach of Connected Church. Connect with us, connected-church.com. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and now YouTube. There you'll find these and other encouraging words to let you know how much God loves you, build you up in your faith accordingly, and the identity that you have in him. And together we're the difference that makes the difference as we awaken to his purpose of knowing him and his love and mobilize his mission of making him known and sharing his love with others. That's good news on this terrific Tuesday morning, Faithful. Well, thank you for that news we can use, Pastor. I'll tell you what, it's going to help me throughout the day. Yes, ma'am, and blessings on you and the Gospel Explosion family, what you do for us all day long. Lord willing, we'll talk to you again real soon. All right, be blessed now. All righty, you too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, fully supplied. Let the word of God dwell in you richly today. Speak to yourself in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. Make melody in your heart in the Lord and let the peace of God rule in your heart and you'll find his supply and provision making the difference in your life and causing you to make a difference in the lives of others. Have a great day. We'll talk to you again tomorrow.